I'm Tai from Singapore Management University. Today, I'm gonna present paper as first an efficient adaptive version for solidity smart contracts. So, smart contracts EIE program executed on top of Ethereum blockchain because smart contracts often hold valuable digital assets. It's become a good target for hackers. The table here show four well-known hacks in the past, where DAO is the most infamous one. The hacker stole about 3.6 million ether, which is equivalent to around 80 million US dollars at that time. Smart contract manage money, but uh, they cannot be amended once they are deployed. So to solve that problem, we must test smart contracts thoroughly before deploying them to Ethereum blockchain. Uh, one popular method to uncover bugs in fuzzing is fuzzing where AFL is the most uh, popular fuzzer for C and C++ program is your evolutionary algorithm. The idea of fuzzing is simple. We randomly fit a different permutation of an input into a target program until one of those permutations reveal a vulnerability. So as you can see mutation process on the right of the slide. The red cross indicates test cases they are not selected to mutate. So further is easy to implement, however it is inefficient due to random mutation and inefficient objective function. The criteria to keep a discard an input for the next generation of mutation is the objective function of further. AFL select inputs which have cover new branches. We have AFL for C++ program. Why don't we have another variation for smart contract? Because smart contracts are different from C and C++ programs, we have to deal with some challenges. For example, code instrument. We have to include code in smart contract to get brand coverage. Setup environment. For example, we have to simulate blockchains to execute transactions with town miners. Uh, we have to initialize account uh, with some balances. Uh, set up global variables such as uh, block dot number or block timestamp. We have to provide an input format format uh, to write a decoder and write a decoder and encoder to make sure that EVM can understand and execute that input. The finger on the left is a symbol input for the smart contract. Uh, opposite on the right, this smart contract has two function try and start with game. We allocate one slot for parameters respond a function try and two slots for the button uh, two, two slots on the button for parameter questions and answer of the function start with game. We support dynamic sign input by declaring the sign of dynamic variable at the beginning of the input. We also support different sequences of function call. Uh, as first is the combination of AFL, smart contract and SPSD. SPSD stand for stand for search based software testing, which refer to the methods we use to construct the multiple objective function. Multi objective functions in lightweight because we only keep one input for an uncovered branch. In practice we have to handle ten to fifteen uncovered branches one time. Uh, here we show the differences between objective function of AFL and FS. Both AFL and FS aim to cover all branches of the program on the left. Test cases is equal to 0 and is equal to 10 cover 3 out of 4 branches. One remaining branch is equal to 100. AFL discard is equal to 99 even though it is really close to 100. At first, a difference is keep it equal to 99 and finally reach 100 and cover all branches in the program. However, however, why do we know 99 is worth to mutate, not 90? So here is the answer. We calculate distance between a test case and uncovered branch. Formulas is given uh, in the slide. Uh, smaller is better. In our example, distance of 99 is 2, which is smaller than distance of 90. That is why we choose 99, not, not 90. Uh, we conduct many experiments uh, to evaluate the effectiveness of adverse. Uh, we run adverse against 4,112 smart contracts collected from website atherscon.io. 
a smart contract is run for two minutes. Then we compare with Argente, a famous simulated execution tool, and contract further, which is similar to our work. From the experiments, uh, experiment result, we answer four research questions. First question: How many test cases are generated and executed per second by Atlas? The figure shows speed of Atlas in comparison with Argente and contract further. Each bar represents around 410 contracts, and they are sorted by speed. On average, efforts generate and execute about 200 test cases per second. Argente is 16 test cases per second. Contract further is around 6 test cases per minute. On average, efforts is 13 times faster than Argente and contract further. Second question: How many branches are covered by efforts? On the left finger, we compare efforts and contract further. Blue bar indicates that efforts are performed contract further. On the right figure, efforts cannot be better than Argente. The reason is Argente analyze every function separately. Therefore, a uh, state variable can take arbitrary values without considering their initial values. Is it not correct in the real smart contract? Uh, third question, how many vulnerabilities are discovered by experts? We focus on nine uh, types of uh, vulnerability they are shown in the table. Red rectangles indicate the highest number of bugs found by eight tools. Uh, experts found more bugs than contract further and Argente, except re-entency and integer overflow and underflow. How however, in these cases, Argente has low true positive. The last question is how many branches are covered by our lightweight objective function. In the finger, we count percentage of test cases generated by efforts and our strategy. On average, efforts contribute about 80% of generated test cases. The key takes away of our paper are we combine AFFL smart contract, lightweight uh, SBST to create efforts. It is significantly more reliable, faster, and more effective than existing further. The open source of efforts is available in GitHub. We also have an online version at a uh, gas uh, website. This is the end of my presentation. Thanks for listening.